Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and today we got the HomeEyes dash cam. Now, I already did some test footage on day and night, so I will be talking about that and I will be adding that footage so you can view it for yourself. Now, I'm going to be talking about what I like and dislike about this dash cam. And let's start off with the things I like. First of all is the video quality. So this camera records 1600p at 60 frames per second, which is pretty good because most dash cams record up to 30 frames per second or they have to go lower the quality to go up to 60 frames per second. Now, what are frames per second? Well, let's just say that every second has a single, well, several frames or images and that makes a video. So the more frames you have, that means the more you can capture. So if you pause something, the, you won't get blurriness because you got more frames per second. Or if you stretch it, you can do a slow-mo and it helps you out because there's a lot of frames inside of that. Also, what I like about it is the daylight footage. It looks really good. I even zoomed into a license plate that you're going to view in this video. So I zoomed it to 500 so you can see it looks really good. On the night mode, it's an, it's an okay. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's normal because cameras can capture so much because of the sensor size in the night mode. Good thing is it has. It has a long cable. It's micro USB. It also comes, whoa, where did that go? the charger, the connecting charger, and it has two ports, right? Also, if you want to connect this camera, you got micro USB available and you got mini USB right here. So that means if you already had hardwired a, another camera that's older, well, you can connect it here also. So you got those two options. Things I dislike about this camera are the microphone. It sounds really, really bad. And you're going to hear that in this video. Another thing that I dislike is the mount right here because it doesn't come with another decal to put it on my windshield. So I do a lot of testing and I remove it and I put it back and all of that. So it's going to get to a point where it's not going to stick as well as I would like. So those are things to consider. Um, other things that I dislike about it is that it's f1.6. That means the aperture at night. So if it were lower, it would have been much, much better. For example, 1.4, 1.2 would have been Oh, yeah, awesome, right? But you got 1.6. At the end, you get good quality footage at night and you're going to see that in this video. Um, let's go into the settings right here on the camera. So let me connect it right here with a cable I already got. And this is micro USB cable. We're going to connect it and it's going to start up right now. So right now it's the welcome screen. And I like that it's like a kind of Apple Watch um, settings right here and movements, the flow about it for the touch. So let's wait up for, for that to load. Also, I forgot to mention that I like the form factor because it's small and it kind of looks like it's integrated with your car because the cars, well, new ones have already sensors. So it kind of looks like it blends in. So here are the settings right now we're recording. And if I flip to the right, I got a QR mode. We got the options for like loop videos. I can view my photos. I can view the incident videos, loop videos again. We got the installation guide for the horizontal guide. I hope you can see that in that video. If I swipe up, we got the other options like resolution, format, volume, screen saver, go to the right, you get more options again. If I swipe down, we go back and I swipe down again and we get more options. So I could turn off Wi-Fi, GPS, uh, speaker and the microphone. So you got all those options. Um, options that I think are missing, but they could be adding them later on with firmware updates. It's that it does, you can't like change the exposure on the camera or the uh, color rating. I forget that. I'll put that right there in the words, but you can't lower that also. So the settings are set right there with the firmware and you can't change that. So other things you can you have to consider, right? So overall, good camera, um, quality, Wi-Fi connection with your phone, Android, iOS, um, pull out the images, even do the settings from the phone. So all those are options are pretty cool. Well, that is the Home Eyes Dash Cam. Um, let's jump over to the day and night footage so you can see for yourself if this, if this camera is going to be the one for you or not. So let's jump over there. All right, guys, this is the daylight footage, just so you get an idea. And the audio that you're hearing is straight from the camera. And we've just arrived at a red light and I should be getting a warning to advance. Now, it's pretty cool because you get two type of warnings. One is when the light turns green and you get another type of warning that's called advance. For example, if the car in front of me advances and I don't, it'll tell me to keep up with the car. 
Now it's a really good option to one for this, for example, right now where I'm, I'm just right here, stop. And the second cool thing is, for example, if you are in traffic and the car advances, you have to, you get that warning. So you actually advance with it. So it's pretty cool. And if you guys know what city I'm in, comment down in the subscription and I'll let you know if you're right or, or not. So let's wait for that green light. Just so you check that out. Traffic light turns green. And I won't advance. Check this out. Keep up with the car. All right. See that? So the car advanced bef well, before me. So it's telling me to keep up with the car so I don't keep active. It's, it's really helpful, especially in traffic because you're probably distracted or just doing something else. I don't know. Maybe you're eating a burger and it tells you to advance. So it's a cool feature to have for it to let you know to advance. So basically that is the daylight. I'll give you a little bit more footage before we jump into the night uh, test. Just so you can check that out, the quality of this camera. Traffic light turns green. Keep up with the car. All right, guys. This is a night footage at 1440p, 30 frames per second. And you can see that also the green light is detected. Plus, I wasn't exactly in front of the green light. So that works fine. So check out the night footage. Right here we got... We got light, a mix of light and darkness with lights from the traffic lights, street lights, and other cars. So just so you get an idea of how the camera does in this situation in low light. So check it out. 